Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will learn how to calculate compressive strength of concrete in the case of cylindrical sample and cubical sample. Before starting, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and press the bell icon to receive my videos frequently. Concrete compressive strength is the amount of load concrete can bear. To determine concrete compressive strength, concrete samples are papered during pouring activity. Samples are casted into shapes cylindrical and cubical. These are the standard dimensions of cylindrical sample in SI system and in British system, while these are the standard dimensions of cubical sample in SI system and in British system. First, we discuss and calculate compressive strength for cylindrical sample. In the case of a cylinder, capping is needed before subjected to load to ensure uniform load transferring in the sample. Two methods are used for capping. First one is capping with sulfur and second is the capping pad and retainer. After capping, subject the sample to loading and increase the load uniformly. Note the load at breakpoint in kilonewton or pound. Here, we discuss calculation procedure for both SI and British systems. This is the compressive strength formula, where CS is the compressive strength, F is the force or load at the point of failure, and A is the cross-sectional surface area under load. Next, read the load from the gauge of compressive strength machine, and measure the area using this formula. In the case of SI system, consider load in Newton, and an area in millimeters square. For example, we apply load to cylindrical sample and it failed at 500 kilonewtons. Convert the load to newtons by multiplying it with 1000. So, load will be 500,000 kilonewtons and area can be calculated using this formula. Here, radius is the half of diameter and the diameter of the standard sample is 150 millimeters. By substituting values of pi and radius, we get the area in square millimeters. Now, we have load and area. From this, we can calculate compressive strength in megapascal. In the case of the British system, consider load in pounds and an area in inch square. For example, we apply load to cylindrical sample, and it failed at 71,000 pounds. So, the load will be 71,000 pounds, and area can be calculated. Using this formula, here, radius is the half of diameter, and the diameter of the standard sample is 6 inches. By substituting values of pi and radius, we get the area in square inches. Now, we have load and area. From this, we can calculate compressive strength in PSI. To convert it to megapascal, divide it with 145, as 1 megapascal is equal to 145 PSI. Secondly, we discuss and calculate compressive strength for cubical sample. Place concrete cube at the center of the compressive machine platform while loading. Ensure uniform load transferring in the sample. Note the load at the break point in kilonewton or pound. Here, we discuss compressive strength calculations for cubical samples in both SI and the British system. This is the compressive strength formula, 
where CS is the compressive strength. F is the force or load at the point of failure. And A is the cross-sectional surface area under load. Next, read the load from the gauge of compressive strength machine. And measure the area using this formula. In the case of SI system, consider load in Newton and an area in millimeter square. For example, we apply load to cubicle sample and it failed at 700 kilonewtons. Convert the load to newtons by multiplying it with 1000. So, the load will be 700,000 newtons and area can be calculated using this formula here length and width of slandered sample is 150 millimeters both by substituting the values of length and width we get the area in square millimeter now we have load and area from this we can calculate compressive strength in megapascal in the case of the British system consider load in pounds and an area in inch square for example we apply load to cylindrical sample and it failed at 80,000 pounds so the load will be 80,000 pounds and area can be calculated using this formula here length and width of slandered sample is 6 inches both by substituting the values of length and width we get the area in square inches now we have load and area from this we can calculate compressive strength in PSI to convert it to megapascal divide it with 145 as 1 megapascal is equal to 145 PSI finally I provide some tips for quick calculations. These are the slandered sizes mostly used to determine compressive strength of concrete. In SI system, for cube crushing, divide the load in kilonewton directly with the factor 22.5. To get compressive strength in megapascal, for cylinder crushing, divide the load in kilonewton directly with the factor 17.67 to get compressive strength in megapascal in the British system for cube crushing divide the load in pounds directly with the factor 5220 to get compressive strength in megapascal for cylinder crushing divide the load in pounds directly with the factor 4099 to get compressive strength in megapascal these are some conversion factors used in compressive strength calculations 1 megapascal is equal to 145 psi and 1 kilonewton is equal to 1000 newton thank you for watching stay tuned